welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Disney's Gargoyles video. I happened into my local Target store, and lo and behold, sitting there right on the shelf, we had Detective Elisa Maza, my first human character. I haven't found the Xanatoses yet, armored or suited, but this one includes Brooklyn's Closed Wings. Thank God. On the sides of the box and all around, you got really nice photos of the figure. And on the back side, well, you get more photos, of course, including a little write-up. But that mostly has to do with the gargoyles themselves. I do wish they would change the blurbs once in a while. But again, nice photos. And you get photos of every single character that basically has been released, right? I'm still waiting on Lexington and, of course, the two Xanatoses and then... I'll be caught up. On the inside of the box, you use a little flappy window. You get to see Elisa Maza and Cagney. Good old Cagney the Cat. He's there, too. And a special shout-out and a thank you to everyone involved in the creation of this figure. It looks amazing. I'm very stoked on it. And thank you for the lovely tour of Toy Fair, Stefan Falkins. You know who you are. That was awesome. Here's the barcode as well, and like I said, Elisa is starting to hit Target store shelves now, but she is not an exclusive, it's just that's where she's starting to hit as of now. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee atop Castle Wyvern. This is a look at the brand new, straight from Disney Gargoyles, Detective Elisa Maza from NECA Toys. And while I got all you fellow Gargoyles enthusiasts here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my videos. And as a special thank you, and as an exclusive to this video, well, here's a bit of a walkthrough that was at Toy Fair for the Negatoys Gargoyles display. It's this giant clock tower coming never. It was just a display. It's not a crowd funder by any means, but it was beautiful, and it was so fun to see. So coming soon, they had some newer figures, right? We have Broadway. He'll come with his closed wings and also some Chinese food. Looks pretty good. You have Elisa Maza right here, which we will be looking at in just a few short minutes, but this is awesome. This is what I want to see at Toy Fair, right? And then they had this guy who, as I'm doing this video, the name escapes me. I think he was, what, the Avalon Gargoyle? It's one of those where even I had to look it up. But a lovely color. Help me down in the comments below. He was that other gargoyle uh, clan, right? But he comes with two head portraits, which looks awesome. He's very cool looking. I got to give it to him. It's very awesome just to have more gargoyles on the way, right? So the upcoming Goliath and Demona Vows 2-pack. We'll have the Phoenix Gate. I'll have Demona's Closed Wings. A couple other accessories here and there. We have Thalog. Everyone seems to forget about Thalog, right? He was, what, second or third figure released? David Xanatos. Here's a fun fact. That gun will be blue, thanks to Disney. And Hudson. And then we have Brooklyn, right? That's very cool. And then the video game Goliath. Now, high atop the whole clock tower, we have Broadway doing his monstrous pose with wings out. We also have Bronx, because... That's basically all Bronx can do. And then you had Coldstone. And Coldstone looks crazy awesome. Very cool. He's going to be a great figure, I tells you what. And I'm just super stoked on him. Just the mechanical nature mixed with all the parts and pieces and the flesh and everything else. Double head portraits and probably some other accessories here and there. Go and watch my Toy Fair walkthrough video with Stefan. He details it out a whole heck of a lot more. It's all kind of a blur that weekend. But this was the one that I was like, hot dang. Now this has been teased. We have Macbeth, right? Very cool. He looks fantastic. Love the way the jacket looks, the armor, the face. He also has the hunter's mask and then a more goggled Macbeth, right? Because he deals in all the uh, all the weapons. He's got enough money, right? He's been living centuries and whatever else. And then we got Lexington. We got the whole red Xanatos armored steel clan robot. This was a gorgeous setup. So again, thank you to everyone at NECA for taking me through the booth. Stefan especially, nice to see everybody. And uh, to give a special shout out, in case you were wondering who made this, uh, this was made by Euler's Workshop. You nailed it. Now, we have Elisa Maza. She's all out of the box. We've got some things to talk about here. This is, I'll save you some time, probably one of the best figures to date 
for the Naked Toys Gargoyles line. She does come with a bunch of extra hands, fisted hands, badge holding hands, trigger finger hands. Now, take special note of that. She comes with two, right? Either left or right, but more on that in just a second. She also comes with a police-issued flashlight, right? So she can explore the dark corners of the castle and the clock tower and whatever else. And she holds it really nicely. I love the red button on there. She can find Bronx. <laughs> That's awesome. Totally dig the flashlight, including the badge. The badge is just a nice touch. You have to kind of think like, okay, what are you going to really give to Elisa Maza, right? Well, there's a few things like a badge, right? So Hudson can thoroughly ask her, oh, you're a detective, right? Uh, what does a detective do, lass? And then we have Cagney the cat. Good old Cagney, right? Made a couple appearances throughout the episode. He is a bit of a slug of a figure. But he has some head articulation, which is nice. Which, come to think of it, while they were off doing the Avalon adventures, who was feeding Cagney, right? Was Cagney ever seen again? <laughs> oh my god, the cat! Now, he's not the greatest when you want to hold him, but brush up against you wanting some food. Yeah, that's what Cagney would do. Or you could play fetch with Bronx. <laughs> Now, you have some really interesting parts and piece swap outs here. So you got this really nice flowing locks for Elisa Maza. I like the blue shading that they put in there. She always had this nice blue black hair going on, very cartoony. Now she comes with three head portraits, all of which have different expressions. The detecting head, the solemn head, and the I'm not putting up with your wild theories, Agent Bluestone head, right? And how it basically works is you take the hair off and you can swap it out so you can have multiple expressions with the different hair pieces, which look pretty good. I like the more windswept hair. I think that gives a little bit of an element of a personality to her. And then you have the normal hair. So basically, you just take the heads, pop in the hair, pop in the head, and you're just good to go. It's pretty self-explanatory. I find that putting the head on first and then the hair works tremendously. So swap them out at your leisure. They all look pretty darn cool. Now, you do get the folded wings of Brooklyn and I think uh, it's a sigh of relief to a lot of collectors out there because I always joke that the wings on a gargoyle is precisely one detail shelf wide when you want to install them and keep them there on Brooklyn they look great it's great to have the folded wings as well it does make for well, we'll just say a better display for less space, right? Less is more in terms of the wings. But they're nice and gummy. They're painted well. Nice designs. A-OK -okay, number one. Elisa Maza, like I said, it's a great looking figure. Zilu, you knocked it out of the park, my friend. And, of course, everyone else that worked on this. She has peg holes on the bottom. I love the color of the jeans. The jeans look really good, right? The paint is nice. The cuffs are there. You got to have those. That's part of her cartoon detail right she always had the red jackets that looks great it looks like a leather jacket it's got the zippers and everything else all over it like i said the badge holding hand and then the gun holding hand you're gonna have to figure out the gun situation on your own because she does not come with one unfortunately but oddly enough you do get a lot of rotation in the head even with her giant mane of hair so i appreciate that that's actually Really well done. She has a bit of an ab crunch, waist, swivel. You get the idea. The arms, they'll go all the way out, all the way off to the side, all the way up. Just go easy with her at first. She's got bicep, double jointed, and of course, you get some rockage in the wrist. So plenty of articulation for the idea that is Lisa Maza, right? You don't have to go too crazy. She's got double jointed knees. She'll kick out. And then the feet, the boots, they look great along with the thigh articulation, right? Just kind of up more towards the groin. You can get a lot of momentum out of this figure. So very well articulated, right? But let's talk about the whole a gun situation, right? Now, thanks to Disney, and of course, this has become a trend. She does not come with her weapon of choice. It's odd to see Elisa Maza without a gun. I used a Valiverse gun. It's not exactly... What she uses, it's more of a solid black. Something out of Batman the Animated Series, to be honest with you. But I found that this one in particular works well. It even has a blast effect. And you can even go gangland style if you so choose. Now, the thing about the guns, though, is don't let Broadway anywhere near Elisa's gun, right? Because you never know when it can go off. And then you have the whole situation once again for learning... 
children do not mess with guns ever, right? So, Deadly Force, the episode, definitely check it out. Try to check it out some other place besides Disney Plus because they edited it a little bit. Now, in terms of all the different characters that go on the Avalon Adventures for Season 2, that looks pretty darn cool. Now, we do need Angela and her clothes wings. That, hopefully, is on the horizon. But well done. That is a lot of fun. And in terms of the scalature, if you just want to get Elisa and just want to get Goliath, yeah, it's going to go really well together. I can't say enough nice things about this figure. I'm actually stoked. I'm happy about an Elisa Maza action figure. But NECA Toys really nailed it. And again, I love that she comes with the draped down wings for Brooklyn. A-OK, -okay, right? Gotta have more of those draped wings. They just look really good, right? Goliath looking good with his draped wings. More draped wings. And if you're wondering, Macbeth, well, the rumor is that he'll be coming with Hudson's draped wings. But that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys Disney Gargoyles Elisa Maza figure. You've heard my thoughts. And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Disney Gargoyles. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, seriously, that's a good question. My mind escapes me at the moment. What happened to Cagney? Oh my god. We have to find out! And what we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.